So I got the uh, the Kenwood TK uh, 260G uh, programmed, and the program I'm using for this is the Kenwood KPG 56D programming software. This one right there. 260G KPG 56D. So this is all the programming that I've uh, got on it right now. I've got a bunch of emergency communications uh, uh, channels put on it. From channel 12 down to about, you know, 2024 or something. But as you can see, the receive frequency is on there, but no transmit. As long as you don't put a transmit frequency in there, the radio will not transmit on those frequencies. But, uh, anyways, uh, just want to show you how easy this thing is actually to program. So, let me get it here. So, obviously, you connect the radio up. You use both uh, ports when you're programming the Kenwood handhelds. And, uh, basically, you go up to read. Right there, you click that, you get this box, and you click read. Then she's being read. She so come up reading, complete it, and then you come up with your list. And to turn on the keypad or keyboard uh, programming, which it was disabled on this one. It's under optional features and it's under optional features too. And uh, here it is right now I've got panel test enabled, panel tuning enabled and self programming enabled. You can even turn on firmware programming as well as clone if you really wanted to. So there's a few features this radio can do including two tone and DTMF and stuff. So. Uh, don't need any of this right now. You can even put on your power on text, which I've got via one MDS, my call sign. So every time I turn on the radio, that'll come up first. So uh, yeah, so you just X this out if you don't plan with it, and then just to see the other channels that I've got here. As you can see, every one of them has the transmit disabled on them. So anyways, yeah, just uh, sort of just show up this easy, quick little uh, video on programming the Kenwood uh, 260G. And the software you use is the KPG 56D software. And the programming cable I'm sure you're probably going to want to see it. So I'll just stop the video here for a second. And I will this is the programming cable I use. There's a couple different ones you can use. But uh, this is the one we use anyways. It's a, quite a simple one. But uh, it works. Uh, you can do mobiles with this cord. The jack there. RG45 connector and the two plugs anyways thanks for watching and uh, more videos coming up soon